In this demo, we will show how to enable communication between a Profibus-based device and a Rockwell Compact Logix PLC, which uses Ethernet IP. To do this, we will use the Ethernet IP to Profibus DP linking device from HMS. In the scenario we're using, I've connected the Siemens ET200S distributed I.O. as a Profibus slave. To this, I've connected a simple switch, which gives me an on and off signal. The ET200S is connected to the bottom side of the linking device. On the front side, I'm connected to an Allen Bradley 1769 L16ER Compact Logix PLC. Now the neat thing about the linking device is that everything is handled from inside my familiar Logix designer environment. The only thing I need to do is to download the add-on profile for the product, which I can do on anybus.com. So I open Logix Designer to configure the connection. I start with the PLC side, the communication between the linking device and the Rockwell Compact Logix PLC. I want to add the linking device to the Ethernet interface, so I right-click Ethernet and select New Module. I can search for HMS Industrial Networks, or more specifically HMS EN2 PBR, to find this product in Rockwell's vendor list. OK, I see that Ethernet to Profibus linking device shows up. So I select this and click Create. I name the module Profibus ET200S. I know that I want to use the IP address 10.10.55.123 for the module since I know that this address is available on the Ethernet IP network. I click OK and Close. And I've now added the HMS EN2PBR to the I.O. config tree in Studio 5000, which I can see here. I double-click to open and have a look at my add-on profile. I click Change and can have a closer look at the module definition. It's from this window that I can launch the configuration manager for the linking device. OK, so I will firstly assign the IP address that I want my linking device to have on the Ethernet IP network. As you remember, this was 10.10.55.123. So I start the IP config tool to set the IP address. I click Scan and can see my linking device here. The IP address is currently set to 0, so I double-click on this, change DHCP to OFF so I can set the IP address, and enter 10.10.55.123. The subnet mask I set to the standard 255.255.255.0 and click Set. I click Scan again and I can see that the linking device now has the IP address that I want. OK, I can now exit IP config and open the Profibus configuration tool, which I do by clicking here. I start by opening my Profibus master and dragging in HMS EN2PBR. Like all good TV chefs, I've done some preparations beforehand and added the Profibus GSD file for my ET200S. I find this here, so I can drag this into my configuration as well. So, I can now add the modules that I have in my ET200S. I have three in this case, a power supply and two I.O. modules where one of them is connected to the switch. Firstly, I need to find my power supply in this humongous list. Aha, uh -huh, here it is. I drag this into my slaves window. Since it's a power supply, it does not have an input address. I then add my I.O. modules, which I find at the top of my list. Very convenient. I have two of these, so I drag 2 into the Slaves window. They land on input address 0 and 1. OK, so that was my I.O. modules. I can now double-click on the Slave and make sure that I have the same Profibus address as I have on the DIP switches on the hardware. 4 in this case. I am now done with the Profibus configuration and can close this window. Do I want to see an overview? Yeah, sure. Here are my two I.O. modules. I cannot see the power module since it does not have an input. I close and apply my changes. From this view I now want to name my two slots. Since I've connected the switch to the first slot, I name this switch. 
On the second IA module, I have nothing connected, so I name this not used. That concludes my configuration. So I can now download the configuration to the linking device, which I do here. I close this window and click OK and accept that tags and configurations will be changed in Studio 5000 and apply these changes. If I now look at my controller tags, I can see that the software has automatically created an input and an output connection to the linking device. If I look into my input connection, I can see that named and structured controller tags have been generated. Great, it's now easy to find the tag named switch which corresponds to the configured data from the ET200S IO module. Easy peasy. So this value will now toggle between 1 and 0 when I flip my switch. But first, I need to go to my main routine and add the control word for the run mode of the linking device. The default value for the linking device is 0, meaning stop, so I'll need to add this control word, which I do by selecting control word and 0. So I now download this to the Compact Logix PLC. And can then see that the value has changed to 1. And if I flip the switch, I can see that the value changes and we have communication between Profibus and the Compact Logix PLC.